this is circuit theory involved the analysis of electrical circuit consisting several voltage such as batteries and components like resistors and conductors method in analyzing this circuit we have the ohm's law we have the connection of series and parallel resistor all right what if your circuit is a complex circuit how do you go about it there are steps in which we use to analyze a complex circuit the first on the list is Kirchhoff law number two we have the Perfini's law we have the superposition law Norton's law and the maximum power transfer all these methods are used in analyzing complex circuits all right the first one Kirchhoff's law Kirchhoff law is based on two laws which are the KVL and KCL this law was postulated by a German physicist called Gustav Kirchhoff in the year 1845. KVL, the algebraic sum of voltage in a closed loop or in a circuit. Why KCL means the algebraic sum of current entering a point or you say a node is equal to the algebraic sum leaving that point in other words it means the algebraic sum of current at the point is equals to zero you we reference back to this in calculation all right in the study of this course we have different terminologies to be used which are node branch mesh and loop by definition what is a node a node is a point in a network circuit where two or more branch where two or more circuit elements are connected number two branch a branch is a part in a circuit that lies between two or more junction right take note junction is synonymous to node meaning it's a junction or node by illustration let's see what it means a node and a branch from here at point b point b is a node why do how do i know that point b is a node the, the, here is how it works a physical analysis on how it works say you have your two wires which are the conductors joining these two wires together the point in which these two wires are meeting is simply called a node or a junction right now back to this diagram observe at point b i'm having two or more connection of wires meaning a b there's a wire b c there's also a wire and b e there's also a what wire hence we are saying that at this point wire a b b c b e are all connected at point b hence b is a node or a junction similarly at point e this is the junction. Well, wire FE, ED, and DE are connected at point E. Hence, when you have two or more connections of a wire or circuit element, then that point is simply called a node. All right, branch. We said a branch is a part in a circuit element that lies between two junctions, right? Now, this is a branch. BE is a branch. Point B is a junction. Point E is also a junction or a node. S, it is a branch. Why? Because this wire lies between two junctions. That's it. Similarly, this is also a branch. CD is also a branch. AF is also a branch. Mind you, point A is a node. Point F is a node. Point C is a node. And point D is a node. How? Wire AF and AB are connected at A. Similarly, wire AF and FE are connected at F. Likewise, here. So that's how it works. All right. Let's see what a mesh and a loop means. By definition, a mesh is found within another loop, meaning it is present within another loop. It is inside of another loop. 
or you say that a mesh is a subset of a loop. What then is a loop? A loop is any closed part in a circuit, starting from a point and it ends at that same point. Okay? Now, loop. Consider this diagram. We simply have three loop here. How do I know? Let's see. From here, A, B, E, F, A is a loop. Right? A, B, E, F, A. This is a loop. This is a loop. Why is this a loop? It is a closed part in the circuit diagram. It starts from A and it ends at A. This is a loop. Similarly, B, C, D, E, B is a loop. B, C, D, E, B. This is also a loop. Right? Also, A, C, D, F, E. This is a loop. Right? How am I saying? Call this one, two, three. One, two, three. They are a loop. Why are they a loop? It is starting at a point and it is ending at that same point. Also know that it is a closed part in this circuit diagram. Then how do you identify your mesh? If one is a loop, two is a loop, three is a loop. What of mesh? Here's how it works. Go back to the definition of mesh. We said a mesh is found inside a loop. A mesh can be a loop, but it is a type of loop found inside a loop. Right? Meaning, number two, this is a mesh. Number one is also a mesh. Why number three remains a loop? How? A, B, E, F, A. It is found in A, C, D, F, A. Right? B, C, D, E, B. It is found in A, C, D, F, A. Meaning, number one and two. This is one. This is circuit one and circuit two. Circuit one is a subset to A, C, D, F, A. Right? Similarly, circuit two is a subset to A, C, D, F, A. S, one and two is a mesh. They are a mesh. So that's how it works.